I was watching a documentary a few weeks ago about primates and their eating habits. Although I had heard it before, apparently bananas, the sort of bananas modern-day humans eat, are not good for other primates. Monkeys in a zoo in Devon have been banned from eating them. Animal nutritionists say that giving bananas to primates is like humans eating too much cake and chocolate. My first question, if bananas are bad for other primates, then surely they are bad for humans as well. Aren't we all primates with common ancestors, at least genetically speaking? Chimp DNA is apparently 98% similar to our own. Some monkeys share 93% of their DNA with us, while humans and mice share nearly 90% of human DNA. Of course, it doesn't take too much difference in DNA to result in huge physical differences. Humans share 61% of their genetic information with fruit flies, and 60% with bananas. Yes, we are genetically related to bananas. So back to the bananas, why can't monkeys and chimps eat too many, but we can? Well, animal nutritionists say that in nature, monkeys don't eat bananas. At least, not the ones that we have grown accustomed to. Human bananas are much too sweet and contain much less protein than wild bananas. Eating these sweet human bananas are bad for their teeth and can cause diabetes and similar conditions. One must wonder whether this means that bananas are too sweet for us as well. I suppose eating a banana is better for our kids than eating a lollipop, so we've gone with the lesser evil. Wild-type bananas, as you can see in the top right, are tiny, tough and filled with pit-like seeds. If you sold them at Woolworths, nobody would buy them, unless you have a couple of monkeys in your family. Occasionally, wild bananas produce a mutant variant without any seeds. Humans have been toying with these seedless mutants for thousands of years to produce the modern-day banana that we all love and enjoy. However, these modern-day mass-produced bananas are too genetically similar to each other, making them susceptible to disease. One outbreak could wipe out most of the world's banana population, leaving us with little choice in the yellow fruit department. Anyone care for a lemon? So why do we encourage our toddlers to eat oversweet bananas instead of the wild variety? It comes down to availability and preference. Of course, we're going to choose the more tasty, less expensive variety. Furthermore, the human diet consists of so many other things that the occasional banana isn't going to hurt. Just one last rant. Apes versus monkeys. When my children see a chimp, they always say, Look at the monkey! Invariably, the zookeeper says, Chimpanzees are a type of ape, not a monkey. It's become so trite. Obviously, chimps look like monkeys, otherwise kids wouldn't call them monkeys. As David Mitchell once said, Excuse me, a chimpanzee, even though it looks like a monkey, isn't a monkey. Even though a chimp is totally, in every meaningful way, obviously it's a monkey, it's not a monkey. You know, it's a special place that's been made by biologists for pedants to reside, so that whenever anyone refers to a chimpanzee as a monkey, like you did then, a pedant like me says, Oh no, a chimpanzee isn't a monkey, and I've started to hate myself for that. Anyway, you've been listening to Monkeys, Apes and Modern Day Bananas, giving their opinion on primates. Thanks for listening.